In 57 days, join the general strike against the duopoly. That's the Republicans, the Democrats, the two parties who've controlled the business of American politics since the Civil War. Now, surveys show that people would like to see more parties, but let's think about that for just a minute. What they're really saying is that I wish every election that there were more groups willing to invest time and money and resources into campaigns that get zero in return. It's not a sustainable business model. As long as we elect one member from each district, Duverger's law says we'll have a two-party system. The election marketplace works more efficiently when you have one loser instead of two or three or four. Alaska demonstrated this recently. They had a primary in their special election for their House seat, and they chose four candidates to go on to the general election. And immediately, the independent dropped out. He said it's too hard to run as a nonpartisan candidate in a four-way race. Now, it makes sense, right? If you wanted to open up a restaurant, would you want to choose a location with one competitor or a location with three competitors? The two-party system is a product of market efficiency. There's a party in power, a party trying to get power, and the way we go on strike against that system is by demonstrating a willingness to walk away from either one, to not be invested in their success or defeat. In 2022, the American Union offers voters in all 470 congressional races a third choice, not by fielding candidates, but by creating the opportunity to leverage our votes nationwide around policy. We can end poverty, end mass incarceration, and end the endless wars. We've offered this legislative package to all the candidates for Congress, and the deal for incumbents is straightforward. Put this on the president's desk before the election, and you can get our endorsement, Republican or Democrat. But if you refuse, your major party challenger can Rather than being new rivals for these elected offices, we can make the people already running compete for our votes. Think of this as a smarter way to lobby Congress. Going back to the restaurant analogy, rather than opening up a vegan restaurant in a crowded location, we're persuading existing restaurants to offer vegan options, offering our business as a reward for doing so. However, we still need investors. If you want to change the way that the business of politics works in 57 days, become a dues-paying member of the American Union by pledging $5 a month or more. Together we rise.